According to a new study, the global coal boom has started to slow, and for the first time, more plans for new power plants are being cancelled rather than completed. The number of cancelled coal projects across the world outnumbered those at a rate of 2 to 1 since 2010. These numbers are coming from a campaign group that has tracked the progress of 3,900 intended plants since January 2010. Jose, some science for your ass. Check this out. Between 2010 and 2014, the groups calculated that 356 gigawatts of capacity was added to the world's network of coal-fired fired power plants, mm -hmm. while 493 to 624 individual power plants were canceled, obviously outnumbering those that were done. What the hell does that mean? I don't know, because I'm not a scientist, but this is what you need to know. These canceled power plants would have, es would have emitted 88,204 million tons of carbon dioxide over their lifetime, so we just dodged a major bullet there. Um, that's huge. So that we see a big important. decline on, on coal. And coal is obviously leading to a lot of environmental issues, yes. air pollution being one. So what do you think? Economies might suffer at first, but this is a change that needs to happen. I think it's, it's, a, it's a trend that we're seeing already, how we are shifting to renewable sources of energy. We're, swing, we're seeing how electric cars are becoming a, a mainstream. And, and you they, drive one. Yeah, I drive one. So we're seeing... Uh, that we rely in these other sources of energy. Obviously, we're getting away from these, but one thing that is important is that, yeah, we are preventing any more damage, but the, the, what, what with all the, the carbon dioxide that we already put out because of using it, that's still there, and it's something that we need to address. But I think this is very, very positive. This is important that we don't rely on that. But I want to know if this is a really a commercial decision because these are not viable as economic projects anymore or is it a, a, an environmental uh, concern from the, the corporate companies that, that are running this? It's definitely a lot of things. There's a lot of reasons. You got a growing concern over the environment. You have a lot of people like boycotting and coming out and saying yeah. people are getting pissed off and then of course you know you have a lot of competition from clean sustainable uh, energy what about fracking maybe well, frac fracking is something that it might be worse in the long term yeah that might be helping us get away from from well, the from coal yeah well it's one thing at a time i'm excited about it yeah it's no, like, it's, it it's shows a, it's a good thing it's a and, thing to be happy about because we are not contaminating at the same rate and we won't this is the important thing. It's not like we shut down uh, the, the, the already operating. We just didn't grow any more plants, which is very important because it signals the shift in consciousness and the shift in, in how we go about getting our energy. So I think it is very positive. Yeah, and um, one of the biggest countries, China, uh, they spent $7.8 billion less. I'm sorry, they invested that much less in coal mining um, last year. and. It shows because seven out of ten Chinese coal companies failed to make ends meet in 2014. So the business is going so it's down. Not a, it's not a good business. Coal is not a good business. Well, it's anymore. not. And it, unfortunately, it's, it had to get to the point where you know you literally can't breathe in certain cities uh, without a mask. Yeah. And and it's it's gotten that bad to the point where you know things are finally looking up for the better. Or at least the trend is suggesting that it will go in that direction. Whether it will or not, we don't know. Let us know what you guys think. And of course, subscribe to the Lip TV for more.